For decades, the same routine. Fuel up and take off. But Harbor Air's old seaplane technology is getting a jolt of innovation. It's going electric. We've basically stripped everything out of this aircraft. Goodbye noisy piston engine and fuel tanks. Hello batteries. There's lots of room in here for them, but they are substantially heavier. It's a catch-22 when trying to electrify aircraft. The heavier the batteries, the more energy the plane needs to fly. But the BC-based airline's shortest flights could be doable. Most of its routes are within half an hour of, of the original destination. So that enables us to use this technology a lot sooner than, than others. In Ontario, yeah, it, uh, it looks uh, uh, like there's a lot in there. And that's because a father and son uh, want to combine uh, old uh, and new. It's the world's most expensive model airplane, I think. This is a prototype of the Horizon Aircraft's hybrid plane. The five-seater aircraft will be able to switch from gas to electric or use both at the same time. Leveraging the battery power that you have on board to burn as little fuel as possible. So a uh, really more economical way to fly, burning less fuel, but also um, producing less emissions. But it's being designed for people with a budget for a personal plane, not the average flyer. This is jet fuel. And this over here is ethanol. Which Researchers is at the University of Toronto Institute for Aerospace Studies are looking for solutions for the entire industry. Here we go. From figuring out jet fuel blends that produce less emissions to finding ways to cut back on fuel with lighter materials and aerodynamic designs that create less drag. We use these kinds of models in our wind tunnel. Right here. Testing that could ultimately benefit the environment and entice airlines. There's a, a hope that if we do things properly, then in the long run, we're still going to be able to fly aircraft and have a reduced impact on the environment. And that's going to require innovations in all kinds of things. Travelers are also under pressure to reduce their own carbon footprint. To fly more A flight shaming movement has taken off, encouraging no, people to not to, to fly for the planet's sake. Could you take the train instead? Even the Netherlands-based airline KLM is telling people to fly less. Progress towards reducing the total environmental impact of flying is being made, some of it on the ground. Vancouver's airport is swapping gas-powered buses and baggage carts for electric. It costs a little more. An electric co-bus is more expensive than a regular bus, and there is a premium, but we're, we're investing in the right ways and it makes a difference. For us, reducing our carbon footprint is worth it. Over the past 12 years, the airport authority says it has cut its emissions by 30%. So you see our and a lot could happen in the air over the next two years. Horizon plans to build a full-size version of its hybrid plane. Harbor Air hopes to test its electric prototype and eventually get passengers on board. It's uncharted territory, though, so there could be setbacks. Still, part of a growing effort to propel the carbon-intensive airline industry towards a more sustainable future. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.